Hey everybody and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today's video is a full glam get ready with me for New Year's Eve. It's New Year's right now. Just got ready. It's 20 past six. I don't know how my life... That's really pissing me off. This lash has been pissing, pissing me off since I stuck it on about two hours ago. I'm going to have to restick it. But yeah, did this look. I really like it. I'm really liking the smoky glam look for new year's so i hope you guys like watching this video it's a little bit messy but i'm sure you'll like it anyway i had nearly a full glass of wine this is why i started a half full because it takes me too long to drink so yeah gonna get on with the video but i hope you guys like it and hope you had a great new year's and i can't wait for this year's content so i hope you all stick around let's get on with it guys welcome back um i don't know why i'm saying welcome back this isn't going to be the intro i'm not about to start a video looking like this um so i'm getting ready it is quarter past four on new year's eve i've got nowhere to go i've got nothing to do nothing's going on it's literally me mum and dad partying tonight because my sister moved out literally last night i've got a big glass of wine i've got my booty pick the other side of me why the hell right to me it's to the right of me in the camera it's there i have got you guys tilted at a weird angle but that's just baffling my mind that it's there but it's there if that makes sense it's like there for me weird anyway so don't mind me if you could actually see my bed behind me it's a hot mess like my life but I've literally rearranged my bedroom to film this video for you guys. I've moved my dressing table forward and put you behind. So, yeah, I don't know what I was going to do with my makeup, but I've done this, like, gold smoky. I put black on it, and I was like, oh, my God, it's gone so bad. But it's actually gone okay. And I put liner on, but I didn't really need to because it was, like, smoky and cute. But then I need liner on to put my lashes on. So we're just rolling with it. I am kind of can't really see out this eye because there's glitter all in it. Um, which really isn't healthy, but... Cheers, I poured myself a glass of wine when I started this video like half an hour ago, but I haven't started drinking it yet because I can't do my makeup when I'm drunk. I can probably do my face, but I'm going to do my eye makeup. I wanted to do this eye, then I can do this eye on camera because I didn't know what I was doing, so I'm going to do this eye with you guys. I'll probably speed a lot of it up because it's not a tutorial, it'll probably be really messy. My mirror is here, so you probably won't see a lot of it, all of that kind of jazz, but... I want you to see like a new year's get rid of me. I'm watching videos, I just watched Sophia and Chintzy and Lydia's videos. I needed a drink. So I've got a rosé. I've got Pepsi Max. I've got rosé, two bottles left from Christmas, and I've got some cocktails in the fridge for tonight. So I'm enjoying that. I'm feeling a little bit gross today. I think I might be due on, but I had dominoes and stuff, so I feel really heavy right now, but whatever. And um, I'm using this palette that Josh got me for Christmas. If you didn't see the video, go and check it out. Um, and I'm also using, that was the bright matte from Beauty Bear. I'm also using the fiery matte, like a mini one. Oh, the mini one. I'm just using this brown shade here because the brown in this one, I thought it was like a chocolatey brown and it's not. Ended up being quite dark on my eye. Did my right eye off camera, but my left eye usually goes worse than the right eye. So just don't worry about that. Um, but yeah, I thought it'd be fun to show you. I may not say what I'm using. I may be quite shit in this video because it's just kind of a get ready of me kind of vibe. I just wanted to sit down, put my videos on, listen to some music maybe. If I run out of videos, which I don't think I will though. Um, brush and just get ready. So did my eyebrows as well. I do them first, which is a little bit difficult recently trying to get my foundation on. But I don't worry about it that much anymore because I can clean it up. Um, so I'm not sure how much you can see of the eye, but just the brown smoky eye with this gorgeous gold i'm using the peaches and cream pigment in gatsby and then the what's it called eye candy glitter in not sure what it's in i want to say gold coin but i don't think it's gold coin at all um but yeah i'm mixing them together so 
doing my eyes i do carve out my brow with a concealer and then i do the base with the base so i carve out my brows and do like my inner corner with this concealer which is just my elf concealer you can use any concealer for this um i don't know why i just prefer doing this I don't like putting a base under my eyebrow i think it's just a little bit too thick so i started doing it with concealer if i'm not doing too much makeup i will also do a conceal that as a base but if i'm doing heavy makeup like this i want to use a base so it clings on um i'm not sure how much you're going to be able to see i'll zoom you in a little bit more you're probably not going to be able to see a lot of this but again it's not really a video for you to see step by step yeah did i make up really randomly on boxing day or the day after i can't remember which one pretty sure it was boxing day and i loved the look it was like a pink purple look i did with this palette as well that josh got me from beauty bay the bright matte um and it just was amazing i haven't sat down and just played with makeup for such a long time and i've really missed doing that so it's something i want to start doing again in the new year because i used to love doing that and i just don't do it anymore so i've given myself a rule that like once a week i'll sit down and play with makeup um next friday which is the 8th of january is my birthday i'm not sure when this video will go up probably a little while after new year's because i've got loads of videos to go up already um so yeah don't mind that and this probably will come up, go up after my birthday even so yeah i don't know it's just gonna be a hot mess it's not gonna make any sense because it's new year's get ready with me but it'll go up like two weeks after new year's probably i might put it up sooner if it's like ready I've been editing like so much recently that like, I just want to not edit for a few days but for me I have Fridays off anyway and New Year's Day and Christmas Day were both Fridays so it just ruined my whole pattern if that makes sense but um yes yeah, so my sister moved out last night so it's literally me my mum and my dad tonight which is hella boring um probably the first new year like since i've been with josh that we're not together for new year's either so that really sucks um and like i said before i'm not really a big drinker i'm not but like lockdown it just kidding me i've been in tier four since like the 19th of december and like i said my birthday is next week my josh's anniversary is the week after it's just really shit to be in this position but i keep saying to people i'm not gonna moan because i could be without a life or without a job so you know so yeah i worked this week went back to work on the 29th um and then i worked well i did i guess i go back to work i've been working from home but i was working 29th 30th then today i finished early because i had pretty much everything done by like 12 so my boss let me go early because what's the point on new year's that was good so i went to go and get mcdonald's went to the post office went to go and get a mackey's and the queue was just ridiculous so i left and got a domino's instead so that was fun um so i don't know if i should just go straight in with that shade i used this like weird brown shade from this palette but it like was really gray so i went with i'm just gonna go with the original one and if it's not quite the same color i'll add in that one probably a bad idea but we'll, we'll move with it um so i'm using the Fa the fiery matte palette and i'm taking this shade here which is called cinnamon bun um and that's just going all the way through my crease i do really simple looks like literally it's just this shade and then a bit of black and then the gold so i'm not that creative my left eye also always goes a lot worse than my right eye so i don't know why i decided to show you guys this but hey hi now we're about to get sparkly. I feel like each step I do, I'm gonna have a drink. I'm really thirsty though, so I'm gonna have a Pepsi Max first. <sighs> okay, I'm gonna cut my crease with the P. Louise base using a Morphe brush. This is like the best bit, getting the glitter on. I usually like do my full face and then stick my lashes on, but I might actually do my lashes first because then i can get a bit more wavy while i do my face i'm not sure though because mm. i don't know if 
feel like I should because doing lashes at the end stresses me out. So I just kind of outline my lid at the very bottom where I want the glitter to go to. And then if you look up, it will tell you where to cut the crease to. Or it won't. So I don't know if you can see that there. But it literally tells you, or like marks out onto your lid where it's gonna crease up, fold up to. So you can just draw it out from there. Are you ready for the glitter? You guys can't even see because you're so bright right now. But once you get to the face, I feel like it's gonna be much more of a better video. But like I said, it's not a tutorial. I'm not here to show you in detail what I'm doing. I just oh, just want to chat, get ready. Um. So on the topic of that, because I was just watching Rachel's video of like her goals and stuff for the year. I'm very similar in the sense that I don't want to say my goals too much because I feel like people, there's people out there that I know watch my stuff that do not support me, that do not care about me, that would probably do anything to make sure I don't achieve my goals. So that's why I don't say what they are to a T. I have done a video which is going through like what I've achieved in 2020, what I want to achieve in 2021. But um, in that, I don't actually give you my full goals because, like I said, people will come for you. So I just give stepping stone goals for, like, goals, little goals I want to achieve to get to my big goals for the year. But, yeah, I feel like what Rachel says is so right. You write down your goals so you know what they are, but tell people something else. Especially things like moving out. Like, me and Josh really want to move out and we've wanted to move out for the last, like, year and a half, I'd say. But... It's just not physically possible and well I'd love to say yeah I'd love to buy a house at the end of the year I know neither of us could afford to buy a house at the end of this year so even saying moving out and even that meaning we're going rent a tiny place like that is such an achievement but then saying that I've not put that on my goals for this year because I don't think it's achievable for this year So one of my tips would be if you're setting goals, make sure they're achievable goals. Think like when you're at school and you do SMART targets. The A in SMART is achievable. So make sure they're realistic. No, it's not. M is measurable. A. I feel like A is achievable, but I don't know why they'd have realistic and achievable. Because there's also R, which is realistic. There's something about New Year, like I love it and I also hate it. Like I hate New Year because I feel like there's a massive pressure um, to be something different and change your whole life literally overnight. Like I was just, I put it on Twitter and it's <laughs> a few likes from my friends and stuff. But like, I find New Year such a strange concept because it's like, oh, New Year, New Me, it's another day. Like we're going from Thursday to Friday. It's not that big of a deal, but it is for some reason. Like why though? Why is that when it's just the next day, the way I see it? Um, don't know, it's just weird, isn't it? But yeah, I personally just find the month of January quite depressing, which is really sad because it's my birthday in January, but I just, I never expect much from it. But again, I think that's really sad because it sets me up for like a bad year feeling that way, but just how I feel. Um, so liner, just a little bit of the NYX Epic Ink. How beautiful is that glitter? It's definitely higher up on this eye, but my eyes are just weird. They're not even at all, um, but oh well. I'm pretty happy with that. So I'm going to do my lashes. I don't know what lashes to do. I've literally got brushes everywhere right now. You can go away, you can go away. Let's put my glitter away carefully. Do you know what I hate about using glitter is that it goes everywhere and I feel like that's such a waste of product. <laughs> I 
I like you love this like setup though. I might have to move my dressing table more. What do you guys think? I think it's a really cute background. Even if I sat here and did like my chatty videos, like chatting to you guys like this. It's just so focused, I love it. Um, right. Ew, my hands are so dirty. Let's pick some lashes then. Let's put these brushes away because I don't really need them now. Except for my lower lash line, but I'll do that obviously once my concealer's on. Done a step, so cheers, I need to get through this wine. It's quarter to five. I've been doing this for like half an hour. Once my lashes are on though, we'll speed up. So I've got some Tassie lashes, I've got the TL10s. TL1s that look low key nice, and I've also got these eBay lashes that I've been loving recently. So I'm not sure which to do. I'm gonna do my mascara, put the lashes on, and then I'll come back to you guys because you're gonna cut out soon anyway. Um, but I'll let you know which ones I use once I've done that. So my lashes are on, my left one is on really badly. I don't know if you can tell. That's really annoying me, to be honest. It's already poking up. Should I restick it? If it left, left one first, this wouldn't be an issue, but here we are. Okay, hopefully that's all right. I'm just gonna roll with it. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's just annoying me because it's just kind of like sticking up a bit. I don't know. Right, so I'm gonna move on to the face. So the last week or so my skin's really been suffering with my eczema. It goes through like phases and actually like two weeks before Christmas I stopped wearing tan. So that for Christmas I could tan, which I did, and then it just completely flared up. So this week I've not put any more tan on. Obviously for Christmas put Christmas, put tan on like two days before Christmas. Uh, and my ex was just so bad. So like my arms, you probably don't be able to see, but like my arms are so bad. Um, my side boob and my back, it's just so sore. I don't know if you'll be able to see that again there because of the lighting, but yeah, I'm really uncomfortable. I've got a spot in my armpit, like I'm just not loving life. Um, so I haven't tanned, so I'm not feeling great for that either. I mean, I've still got a bit of tan left on, so I'm not sure what shade I'm even gonna use. Um, but I did just order these, which literally came today from Oil Aiton. They're just bits to put in the bath. I've got this bath formula. You just pop that in the bath. Um, yeah, both of these, you just put them in the bath. It's bath formula and then emollient light liquid paraffin. So I'm going to probably use this one first because it looks quite painful. Okay fire hazard um so yeah moving on to my skin so i also ordered myself some new makeup for my birthday so if you guys want to see that let me know although you will see it but if you want to see me try it out let me know what like what i got for my birthday haul obviously and it's going to feature the stuff that i also bought myself that sounds so stupid i know i'm running out of my flower powder i've got a new one but um i want to like use this whole thing up first I can see some in the bottom, but it's just not oh, it's coming out the pot. It's just not coming to the top. Okay, so starting with skin, I'm going to use my NYX Honey Dew Me Up primer as usual. So I'm going to blend this into my skin with a brush um, but I'm also really going to concentrate under my eyes just to hydrate under my eyes because the other, the, other, the other day I put makeup on and it really bunched up under my eyes, couldn't even powder my eyes. I think I mentioned that in my lounge video with Josh and also my pretty little thing video with my sister. I'm not sure which order these will go up. They're already ready to go but I've got like four videos ready to go so 
I'm really ahead. I've got a few days off as well in January because I booked a few days off. I'm actually going to an influencer event in Liverpool, but obviously with tier four, that's not looking likely. But I'm going to keep the time off to A, rest because I'm so exhausted, and B, um, create content and stuff. So that'll be fun. I don't know what to create. I want you guys to like tell me what you would like to see from me because I don't want to do hauls so much in the new year. I was talking to someone on Instagram the other day, um, today actually, because she said, oh, I need your advice. You seem so organized with money and stuff. And I was like, girl, I'm just so in debt. It's not even a joke. And I'm quite open about that on my channel and I have been for a while. But um, yeah, I feel like for me, I said this to her as well, like um, with my mental health, the way I cope with it is new things buying myself new things buying new makeup trying new makeup trying new clothes wearing new clothes makes me feel good so when i'm feeling low i like to shop um but it's put me in a bad spot and i started my own business a few years ago and then like it didn't work out so yeah it's just it's just a lot of stuff that just built up over time um a lot of personal stuff went on so i end up in a lot of debt and that's something that I want to clear in 2021 I can't clear it because I've got a big loan but I want to clear all my credit cards um I cleared two out of three credit cards this year which I'm really proud of but I've got one left because of like Christmas and stuff it's just gone quite bad so I need to clear that this year okay so for foundation I'm gonna mix my two favorites of the year I should have done like a get rid of me use my favorite products of the year but I honestly haven't done my makeup that much this year and if I have I've literally used this the whole time like the same product so L'Oreal Skin Paradise and True Match these are literally my ride or die True Match I've been using for years I used to use this when I was a makeup artist and um L'Oreal Skin Paradise I found this year love them both so I'm actually going to mix those together um just going to put some of each on my skin and then bounce it on I've still got this spot it's been there since Christmas. Or just oh, so much foundation. Or just before Christmas. Um I want to get my makeup done by six because I want to do some TikToks. I think we're gonna have some dinner and we've got some fish cakes. It's been fucking New Year's Eve, Mum. What are fish cakes for? Um sorry. <laughs> I might do an Instagram live. I don't know. I'm gonna like try and FaceTime as many of my friends as possible tonight. I was gonna make a playlist, but I didn't. Uh, I'm still feeling Ari. Let me know what you guys' favorite songs at the moment. I'm feeling Ari's album. I've also, if I don't know if any of you watched her documentary on Netflix, but I watched it and because I went to her sweetener, Thank you next tour. Me and Josh went to Amsterdam and watched her, which just seems crazy now. Like the thought of even travelling and the thought of going to a concert really freaks me out a little bit, I'm not gonna lie. I've got two JLS concerts lined up this year. Anyone else a JLS fan hit me up. Um they're obviously meant to be in November and December, but they got postponed to June and July next year. which is fine, but I need to see them. But the thought of going to a concert scares me so much. Um, but yeah, I we went to see Ari and so I watched her documentary on Christmas day when I was getting ready and it just took me back. And I just remember my obsession of Sweetener and Thank You Next, both of those albums were insane. Obviously I've been listening to Positions um, most of the rest of this year. Uh, yeah, so at the end of 2018 when we booked that concert and then the start of 2019 where we were building up to go, all I listened to was Sweetener and Thank You Next. So I'm just so A, grateful that we got to go to that, B, like baffled that it even happened. But yeah, since listening to that last week, I've just been obsessed with listening to the albums again. So... I've been listening to all of Ari's albums, all of them, not even just positions, so. 
feel like I got to the point where I learned all of the songs from the positions because I was actually listening to it every day to and from work and at work when I could. So, yeah, I need to find some new music. I've also been loving Taylor Swift, Evermore, and Folklore. I just. Oh, something about her. Like, something about Taylor Swift gives me the feels. So, fun story I saw Miley Cyrus in concert. In 2009 how mental is that that seems like such a long time ago and also like she was a completely different girl in 2000 well, I don't think she was obviously she was the same person but to me as a 11 year old I didn't know the real Miley I don't think anyone knew the real Miley for a long time I think only recently she's been able to be the person that she wants to be and I think that's just so beautiful That's another thing actually I recently or well, this year listened to Call Her Daddy podcast because Miley Cyrus did a podcast with her. Which is just such a big podcast in the world and I only listened to it this year because of Miley. Um and then Tana. I know she's controversial as fuck, but Tana Mojo is just I don't know, I just love her. Something about her, I just think she's amazing. Especially when you know her story and you know what she's come from to where she is now, I just think, wow. But if you do watch Tana or you do know of Tana, do you know the beef with Bella? What's your thoughts on that? Because I don't like Bella Thorne. I never have liked Bella Thorne, even from like Shake It Up days. I don't like saying I don't like people that I don't know, but <sighs> how do I say that? I don't vibe with Bella Thorne's vibe I just don't I don't know something about Bella Thorne that I just I would prefer not to watch her for example like I'd prefer if it was Zendaya and like I don't know who I'd put with Zendaya though for like shake it up I'm talking I don't know but then I think back then Bella Thorne was just a teenager you know like it was different I think I'm not even that old, but if I think back to like when I was a kid, celebrities were just so different because you didn't know about their lives, whereas Bella Thorne, I know a lot about her life now because she's dated Tana and Tana's on YouTube and Tana talks about her life and I think when people are on YouTube, their life is literally everywhere, like a lot of bad bits of my life are on YouTube. And these big celebrities like Molly May she's on youtube and instagram whereas back in the day you didn't know about celebrities except for what was going on in the paper but again they couldn't defend themselves from shit so i think it's good that they've got social media but i also just think we know too much about people these days i don't know right, i've done what i can with my foundation i'm gonna do my concealer and set my concealer then i'll do my liquid bronzer which i've been doing recently just because I feel like it makes it look a bit more natural, <laughs> she says. Um, so I'm actually going to mix my e.l.f. concealer and my Born This Way concealer because I love them both. Um, I've not used my Born This Way one for a while because it's a little bit too light when I'm super tanned, but I'm not right now, so. So this video will go up after New Year's because today is New Year's, so what's everyone doing what's what did everyone do for new year's rather i know no one can really do anything but did anyone do anything fun like were you at home partying with your boyfriend were you like i know some of my friends on instagram stayed at university so they're with all of their friends in their house which i think that's so fun i would just love to have like a friend's christmas one year I'm not really a family gal, not quite like I obviously love my parents. Um, but for me, a lot of stuff's happened in my family that I just don't like it. And I quite liked the fact that this year we didn't have to socialise with all of the family. Which is quite horrible, but yeah. Dunno. I'm just more of a friend's gal these days. I just a lot of my friends have been there for me more than some of my family have so I'm just a bit like hmm I'm over that or is it just because we're relatives that you're meant to be more important to me than anyone else you know 
<laughs> Imagine going like this. Hi guys. I'm not sure what to wear tonight because I was thinking of doing like joggers and a nice top. But I low key want to put a dress on. I might try and do a TikTok. I haven't TikTok in a while. Since Christmas, I think. I don't know. I just don't understand TikTok. And I see videos, I'm like, oh, that's quite good. I could do that. But I just don't think about it in day to day life. Like Instagram, I'm like, oh yeah, I could take a pic now. Or I could put some makeup on, put these three outfits on, and I've got pictures. But I don't think about TikTok. I might do some of the like put a finger downs. I think there's one that I could like talk over. I might do. My thing is when I make a TikTok, I just post it. Whereas I should save a few to my drafts and then have a few. Concealer is one of my favorite parts of makeup. I feel like it really pulls my foundation together. Like my face and my eyes just both look so much better when I've got concealer on. I am living for this eye makeup though. I think it's amazing. Also, if you saw what I got for Christmas video, I obviously got some new straighteners. I haven't used them yet. I'm really bad when I get Christmas presents. I just sit them in a bag for like a week and don't use them. And then I'm like, oh, I should probably use that. Especially considering before Christmas, I was like, I need my new straighteners ASAP. I need my new straighteners. And then I've had them for a week and not touched them. To be fair, I've not even straightened my hair this whole week. Because obviously I'm working from home. So what's the point in killing my hair? You know? Okay, so I'm gonna set my under eyes and my nose into place using my flower powder and a peaches and cream brush. I also want to take some photos tonight for my giveaway, but I'm not sure I'll do that tonight or tomorrow now because I mean it's only half five, but you know. But I low key want to take them tonight so I can get them up tomorrow, like New Year, new giveaway. Like that'd be really nice to do on New Year's Day. Also, I'm literally at like 5.6k, so it needs to go up because it's a 5k giveaway. <laughs> well, if you're not following me though on Instagram, make sure you do. I'd really like to hit 6k for my birthday. Um, that'd mean the world. So, I don't want to heavily powder my face too much, but I'm just going to put a bit of the Charlotte Tilbury for this finish foundation powder because I haven't used this in a while I just really want to I'm just gonna lightly dust it under the eyes because obviously we've got a long night ahead of us I've got six and a half hours to go until New Year's guys it's a long old time so now that's on I'm gonna take my LA girl pro conceal concealer don't want these all over the way I don't really like them as concealers um, but I use this for cream contouring. This is in the shade Toffee. And I'm just going to take a little Real Techniques contour brush. Is that what it's called? Yeah, and I just... buff that in I just kind of bounce it because if you wipe it's going to take that foundation away this is one step my makeup that usually goes better on the left side too which is just really weird does anyone have like a better side when they do that makeup but look at the difference it's just really good and it's quite warm I'm quite a warm bronzer kind of girl look at that it's just seamless on my left side Honestly, I'm not sure which brush to use tonight. So I'm going to mix my powders from my face. I'm using MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Medium. I'm also going to use a little bit of the Charlotte Tilbury one, but it's in the shade Fair, so it's a bit too light for me. So I'm just going to mix the two and pat that onto the skin. So before I finish my... <laughs> base makeup I'm gonna do my under eyes I'm literally just gonna take the same brown under my eyes and then put some mascara on there so nothing to it's like I can't do much under my eyes I'm not gonna lie to you guys I don't do much under my eyes ever because they water like a bitch when I do so 
yeah i just backed this on i have got like some waterline liners i just bought some coal liners from beauty bay but i have the fear of putting things anywhere near my eye i don't know how i do top lash liner or lashes to be honest so it's one of those things and i feel like if i ever had to get my makeup done for like say i was doing a shoot oh my god that would give me anxiety I mean, I'd love it at the same time because do my makeup on like make me look pretty but so I just poke myself in the eye I always get eye shadow powder in my eye how how do you do that so that's done like I said nothing too crazy um but now I'm going to contour I'm going to do my contour and my blush um and my nose contour don't mind that when you see that because it's horrendous uh, and then some blush some highlight then we're done so this is one of my fave songs right now i'm about to listen to so hope you've enjoyed the clips of me singing since i put those on so revolution chocolate bar bronzer that i've been using for about what six months now love it um it's beautiful and dull beauty give me sun which is so too dark for me right now but who fucking cares i'm home on my own my parents and we're gonna jam so i almost dropped my wine earlier as well it's literally quarter to six i've been doing my makeup for a full like two hours but i love those kind of days like i never get to just sit and do my makeup so i'm living for it um do I have foundation line? Probably. But who cares? Fucking New Year's, right? Don't know what to wear, guys, tonight. Um, I really don't know. Which blush? Oh, don't you just hate these problems in life? What do I do? I've got four new blushes. I've got two in this NARS palette. I've got the Dull Beauty and I've got Beauty Bay. So I'm going to do Dull Beauty because it's more matte. Also, I've had this thumb missing all day because it came off earlier, but I didn't want to put it back on because I can open cans and stuff <laughs> without this thumbnail on, so. Okay, and this is the Pretty Fly Costa Del Doll. I don't know why I'm telling you what I'm using, like as if anyone cares right now. Um, yeah. It's like a peachy pink matte blush <laughs> sometimes i just hate myself i just why do i have to go so heavy with blush and bronzer i just do i just like to be brushed and bronzed to the heavens and highlighter right that's gonna have to <laughs> just that's gonna have to do is if there's like not much that's a lot I freaking love it. I love being blushed. A little bit on the nose, why not? I always put blush on my nose. I always see people do it on TikTok and they look unreal. I look like Rudolph. I also haven't even done it in my nose contour for the beauty blender, so let's do that. Oh, I look quite cute. Uh, my hair's going to be a hot mess in the intro and outro, but just rock that um so i'm gonna use my trusty mac oh darling and oh for a day I drive i've been using these both as a little combo majority of the year this year this is like my favorite products of the year kind of because i'm using a lot of products i use all year but i just use the same things oh, i'm like a new woman i used to always want to use new products and switch it up and i just don't anymore right i'm gonna cover my eyes and just setting spray on my cheeks can i setting spray on my eye makeup my lashes go crazy like just now okay 
Okay, and then highlighter, I just use my favourite Peaches and Cream PC17 brush, always use this. There's loads of these brushes in the giveaway for you guys too, so I can't wait for someone to win this giveaway. It will probably be up by the time this video goes up, or even finished by the time this video goes up. So I'll leave it linked below if it is still open. This is where you're going to like, okay, we can see it, you can stop now, but I'm not going to stop. I like to glow to the high heavens. And even I go in so much with this MAC one that I don't need the O for one, but I go on top with the O for one. I just, the highlighter is like a personality trait at the end of the day. It's one of those things that like changed my life. Do you remember like there was a time where people didn't use highlight? It wasn't a thing for so long. And then it just became such a thing and I am obsessed with it. Okay. So that's all the MAC highlighter on in the world. And then <laughs> my O for O I've owned both of these for probably two or three years, which is really not good, but yeah, they It's just beautiful. And these look so good in photos too. Like, look at that. Look at that. So, wow. If you don't look like the tin foil, you're not doing it right. People are going to look at me like, what the fuck are you doing to your face? But I love it. I just love highlighter. So there we go. That's it, pretty much. I need to, um, a little bit of brow bone. I'm going to put a little bit of this Hello Darling, Oh Darling, whatever it's called. Why do you say Hello Darling? Oh Darling MAC highlighter on my brow bone. What's left of it? Who's got fireworks on at 6 p.m.? Too much? Maybe. I look crazy. Okay, so lips is next. So it just wouldn't be a makeup look to end 2020 if I didn't use Mac Ship Down and Honey Love because it's all I've used all year. Let's have some wine first. It's a bit dumb me doing lips because gonna eat and stuff first i need to do my hair before i do my tiktok so i'm gonna still be drinking but it's fine so i'm gonna do these and i'm also gonna use one of my anastasia glosses that i got recently um because i've not tried them yet okay i've gone heavy with a lip liner there but yes right uh, and then honey love lip liner lipstick i like to just bounce that in my finger because my lips are always really like moisturized because i do get quite dry lips so it doesn't always stay in that but if i press it in i feel like it just works a lot better um so that's the lip stuck um and then the gloss i'm gonna go with i think the sparkly one never tried on a sparkly glosses before so i'm low key nervous um they've got this sparkly gold one called bubbly let me just swatch it because in case it is gold i don't really want that oh that looks pretty that looks so pretty okay let's try that out let's try it what's the worst that can happen so i'm just going to pop this in the center of my lips I usually go for like a plumping gloss, but that's really shiny. Wow, that's so nice. Okay. Okay, Anastasia, we see you. So, that is the makeup all done. I actually love it. I haven't done a smoky eye in forever. I'm feeling it so much, so hope you guys like it too so that is the makeup look finished i did my hair with my new straighteners look at my fringe i feel like it's looking a little bit stupid the way it looks right now but it's better than it was with my other straighteners so we're rolling with it i've actually got a little bit of shape to my face which we're loving oh it was so easy to straighten my hair it feels so soft 
I'm not good at straightening the back, so I just kind of pull it forward so it looks like this. But look how straight it is. See how long it lasts? Because my old hair, just, my old hair, my old straighteners just did not last. So, yeah, I'm living for that. But look at the back. It always goes, like, bumpy. Or it's not so much now because I kind of did it. But, yeah. So I'm happy with that. So I hope you guys like this little get ready with me. I'm sure it's going to be a little bit back and forth jumpy and a bit shit. But I just wanted to get ready with you guys. This lash is already poking up. Yeah, I just wanted to get ready for you guys for New Year's. I quite like this little setup. Let me know what you guys think of this background. I actually love it. I really want to move into the next door room. My sister's moved out. My mum's craft room's next door, so she could move her craft room to Lauren's old room. But that's a work in progress. I need to pay extra rent. I need to redo the room if I want to make it a filming room. So this is the kind of vibe that I'd like to have. Yeah, I'd have my dressing table with the ring light behind it so I can do more makeup videos and stuff. It's really annoying me, I'm gonna have to really stick it. Um but yeah, I hope you guys liked the video. If you did give it a big thumbs up before you leave. I hope you <laughs> hope you all had an amazing new year, whatever you did. Don't forget to subscribe down below as well and I'll see you all in the next video. Bye guys.